Hello everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma. Tonight I wanted to do a card with my Create a Critter. I've had this cartridge now for about a week and I can't believe I haven't done anything other than the little cute butterfly card I did uh, for today's Peachy King Challenge. I've been studying this over and over. I don't even know where to begin because everything is so cute. So today we are going to make a card using this cutie patootie doggy. Isn't he adorable? We're going to go ahead and do that, but what I'm going to show you in my gypsy today is how to make a background paper look like you have like little punches um, through it by you doing some welding. And you'll know what I'm talking about once we get started, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how I did that in my gypsy right now. Okay, here we go. I went ahead and I got the square with the corner rounds from the George cartridge and that is um, measured at four and, a, four and three quarters by four and three quarters square. And for my little paw print, let me zoom in so you could see here. For my paw print, I just got an oval from the George and also three little circles to make it look. I'm sure there's paw prints in one of these um, cartridges, but I went ahead and just made my own. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to weld this onto my square to kind of make it look like we punched a little paw print. And I'm going to do that to each, let me move this so you could see it. I'm going to do it to all four corners of my paper here. So I'm going to go ahead and just, that's, I'm going to go hit the advanced feature and I'm going to copy that. Oops. I'm going to copy this and bring it over here, but I want it to face the other way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this little button here and it's going to flip it that way. Okay. And I want to do the same thing. Let me move my screen. And I want to do the same thing on each corner here. Got that here. I'm going to go ahead and flip that this way so we could face that direction. Okay, so it's all perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and weld all of this together. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my basic tab up here and click on the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and group it together first. Click on each paw print. And once they all turn blue, then we're good. So that means they're all, all welded together. Well, no, I'm sorry, not all welded. They're all grouped together. And I'm going to click on the advanced, make sure it's all welded. And then when we click on the eyeball, it's all red, so it's perfect. So I went ahead and I cut this out already. So let's go ahead and put our card okay, together. Okay, here goes my red card stock that I am using. I believe it's called Poppy Seed from um, Paper Tray Ink. And that's that. And here goes my little pattern paper that we just created. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? And of course, it had to be polka dots. So this is going to get layered on there. But before... Um, I layer it on. I'm going to go ahead and put some, I found this embroidery floss in my stash. So I'm going to go ahead and put it around here instead of, can you believe I didn't have a ribbon to match the yellow that's going to be on his little hat? I was shocked myself. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around the pattern paper. Um, a few times. There we go. Go ahead and cut this. Okay. You have to excuse my ugly nails tonight. I was washing dishes. I don't know why I even bothered. Because I didn't have gloves. And ladies, let me tell you, when you have a manicure, always, always wear gloves. Because your nails... The nail polish doesn't doesn't stay on your nails as well as the acrylics do, and I'm not going to get acrylics on my nail. I refuse to. I've had it for years and years, and I just don't want to do it anymore. So, <laughs> lesson learned. Use gloves. So that's why my poor nails look very rough right now. They kind of chipped off. I wasn't very happy, and I almost didn't do a video just because. I can't believe that. But I got over it real fast because once I was sitting there on the couch and I designed this little thing in my gypsy, I just had to do it. Okay, here we go. There goes the perfect little bow. All right, so let me go ahead 
and put before, let me trim the little tails right here, how that's going to work there. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this here. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so that part is done. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put together our cute little doggy. Isn't he adorable? Okay, I'm going to go. I couldn't find my regular glue I use all the time, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. My two way zig glue. This works great also. It's just that I'm so used to using that other one. Doggy is just way too cute. He looks like my little angel. I have a little black and white Jack Russell Terrier. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put on his hat. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? I love it. I'm going to use this because this is a bigger. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on his number one. Cause he, all right, that's there. And we're going to put on his little cute collar. He has a cute little matching red collar here. Okay, for his little collar, we're going to go ahead and give him a little heart bling. Let me grab my tweezers. We're going to go ahead and put this. I had a little yellow that looks like a little bell, but I'm doing it my way. I like this one better. <laughs> How cute. Okay, so he's done. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some pop dots and put them on to... Okay, we're going to go ahead and put him right here in the center. Okay, we're going to put him right in the center right there. <laughs> Oh my god, he looks so cute. Here goes the little heart I punched out, and this is the same, I used that same three heart punch that I had used from Stampin' Up, and I punched hugs, and this is from My Pink Stamper, Simply Sweet Occasion Stamp Set. So this, I'm going to go ahead, and I think I'm going to hang it from right there. So let me go ahead and poke a hole through there. Right there. Just use my... Um, let's see, what's this one? Ruby Red Stampin' Up! Marker. Just to go ahead and put some little, some little dots. Tie a little knot here at the top. Alright, I'm just going to trim the bottom parts here. Okay, and what I'm going to do, since I did have the little, some little paw prints left over here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this. And I think I'm going to put these on the inside of the card. Might as well use these are the little paw prints that actually got punched out from, from that pattern paper. Perfect. Okay, so when they open up the card, they can see a cute little paw print in there also. So let me go ahead and use my bone folder and get this closed up here. I like something's missing so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe it needs some little cheeks. Oh yes that's what it needed. You know what I completely forgot? His little tongue. He had a tongue. Let me grab that right there. I love this little pen. I call it my quicker picker upper. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put some glue right there. Let me take this off. And let me grab my little white gel pen little dots around the little paw prints also. <laughs> Alright, how cute is that? Okay, I think he is complete now. Isn't he the cutest thing ever? I love him. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed my card tonight. Thank you so much for joining my creative time with Emma, and I will see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.